Well, hello there, you filthy peasants. It is I, your puny King Dre, and today we are going to be ruling a kingdom in a little game called Thronefall. Now, this is another Steam Next Fest demo that I stumbled upon, and it looks fantastic. It truly is a genre-blending game if you're a fan of things like Bad North, Kingdom, or even uh, Vampire Survivors. It kind of takes inspiration from all those games in certain premises for this game. Uh, yeah, super excited for this one. Right now, I don't have a kingdom, though, so am I even a king without a kingdom? I don't think I am, but I do have a crown, so I do feel very king-like. So, yes, right now, we have to get over to where we're going to build our kingdom, and we obviously have some very dangerous guards in front of us that don't even move. I mean, obviously, we're very much in a tutorial right now, but uh, there we go. We got our first little money. Again, very similar to Kingdom. We have a coffer at the bottom right, and we can use that money to purchase different types of buildings. Obviously, right now, we need a Kingdom uh, to begin with, so we're going to purchase that, and there we go. We got a main base. Now, we can upgrade this thing later with seven more gold, but I'm broke right now, so we have to go kill people because that's how you earn currency in this game. So let's head over. We're going to skip till nighttime. Uh, that's when the enemies attack, just like pretty much every other game. Uh, we do have two attacks, by the way. I'm just going to keep with the archery attack. Actually, let's go in for a swipe. And, oh, actually, I don't think I can swipe yet. I'm too early. Oh, no, I did swipe. I just totally missed. Let's try that again. There we go. So, yeah, we have a nice melee swipe on our horse if we do want to. It does a lot more damage, but obviously a little riskier because we're going right into the enemies here. But yes, obviously very easy for the start of the game. We uh, have survived the first wave and now it wants me to build some homes. Now homes will give us taxes every day as a thanks for defending them. So definitely you want to get as many homes as possible, I'm assuming. And right now we can afford three. So we shall put down three and that should be an extra three gold tomorrow. Nighttime once again, six enemies are going to be coming in. Not too worried about that. We can probably just chill even over here and watch these little idiots try and get up to me. Good luck, buddies. That's right. Stay out of my kingdom. Is it even a kingdom right now? I don't even think I have any residents. That being said, I do have homes and they do pay me. So somebody's got to be living in those, I assume. All right. Now it's time for some defenses. Now, uh, this is predetermined. That's the one thing I don't really like about this game. I think it would have been a lot more cool if we could put these randomly wherever we want. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. We put the towers where the game dictates they should be. And these are really good spots anyways, obviously. So now we have two towers and 15 people coming in tonight. So... This could be our first little bit of a difficult wave. I'm not too worried, though. Let's actually get out and uh, try and use my sword to my advantage and kill these guys as quickly as possible. Because uh, 15 guys is quite a bit. So I can kind of lure them away. I'm very much learning strategies as I go. But yeah, they tend to chase me over trying to get into the kingdom. All right. Next night, 25 coming in. This gets pretty crazy pretty quickly. And with that night, we have enough to upgrade our main kingdom. So we may as well do that and we get our first upgrade. All right, so we can either pretty much upgrade ourselves with 75% HP and attack damage output, which is fantastic. Or we can focus on the long-term plan, I would say. And every morning, a level one house is automatically upgraded to a level two house. So I essentially get free level two homes. And plus 50% HP with my character. Honestly, both are very, very good. I think I'm going to go for the currency strategy, though, and upgrade those homes as quickly as possible. So, yeah, I'm saving essentially two gold at every home, I guess. And what else do we have here? I don't have enough gold to build this at this moment. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is obviously the barracks uh, because it looks like we do have a few enemies or team, not enemies, teammates coming out. All right, so tomorrow we should have some bigger homes, and I don't know what I want to spend my money on now. I think we're kind of out of the tutorial, so it's all up to us to have a flourishing kingdom, and hopefully I can do that. So I'm going to try and keep luring these guys away, because, yeah, my archers are going to be a little bit busy. Okay, getting a little nervous now. I don't know how much HP my homes have, but I want to keep these guys moving away from my base. That's a little scary. They actually almost got into my uh, territory. All right, but yeah, now it's very much open-ended, so we can add more homes if we want to. Build mill unlocks the option to build fields, which also increases income. Interesting. I think I'm going to go It's 25 enemies again. We survived 25 just fine. So let's play this strategically, and being that we upgraded our homes, let's invest heavily into homes right now so we're earning more money every single day oh and it looks like it only upgrades one level one house every day because both of my other two homes are not upgraded but this one very much is i did, i guess i read that wrong that's fine all right so we have five gold left there we go we have a few fields and i wonder if that's an extra two gold per day i don't know we'll find out all right hopefully i don't regret this decision they have like super powerful enemies today or something like that because yeah yesterday we got a bit close but we did just fine and it looks like these guys are exactly the same so yeah we should be fine again 
Not too worried at all. Okay, okay. I'm doing way worse this time. Come on, come on back, guys. Oh, these archers hardly do any damage. <laughs> Why do I have to do all the damage? Okay, they got a little bit closer, but again, I don't think they were anywhere near trying to kill us. And look at all that money. Now we're at 15 gold. That's what I'm talking about. So now we are going to get some defenses and we can get knights or spearmen. All right, so spearmen are good against essentially melee units, not good against uh, range units. They do extra damage against fast enemies and knights are versatile warriors who are well armored against ranged attacks. I think for right now we haven't it. Well, we do. Oh, I did just, just see we have archers coming in. I think I still want to go for the spearmen. That sounds pretty cool. All right, so I can command my nearby units. They'll essentially just follow me. Uh, I don't know if I want them following me or not. I think I'll actually put them just kind of at this choke point here. So we'll tell them to stop moving. And there we go. We'll be uh, defending that a little bit better. Actually, I'm going to tell them to pull up even higher. So both my towers will be defending them as well. Because I'm assuming they can very much die. So we'll put them here as a last line of defense. All right, we still have 11 gold. So obviously, again, we're going to invest our money into earning more currency. I will upgrade my windmill. And... I'm just going hard into the fields, I guess. I think... All right, I have four gold left, and it looks like that's as max I can do for this. Oh, what are these over here? Uh, another defense tower now, and another house. Again, going hard into the homes, man. And I have... Oh, crap, I have two gold left, so I don't have enough for the defense tower, unfortunately. Might be smart to build the wall now, too, but again, I don't have enough for that. So let's just get into the nighttime. I'm going to try and get these archers as quickly as possible. And I don't want to have to deal with these guys. So there we go. Kill the archers. And oh, I didn't realize these guys would go out. I wonder if I can tell them to hold. Okay, well, they're taking a lot of damage. I really didn't want them to come out. Damn it. Because I might lose them now. Yeah, we're down to three. So I have to just re-recruit. No, it looks like they reset. Wow. I'm earning 26 gold a day. Once again, invest heavily in the homes. It's almost tempting to upgrade my tier one homes. But I don't want to waste that perk that I got. Um, so I guess we'll throw the extra tower out now. Oh, I can upgrade these towers. I didn't know that. Uh, more units, faster replenishment. Ooh, how much? Yeah, we have more than enough right now. We may as well do that as well. And we'll upgrade our towers. Do I have enough to upgrade both? Indeed, I do. I wonder, can I not get the knights now because I chose spearmen? I was hoping I could change back and forth. I'm not sure if it works that way or not. Oh, crap. I forgot. Never mind. I have enough money. I f forgot about the, um, wall, but we... Don't really need that. There we go. All right, and we'll just uh, start the day. My my spearmen should be coming out anyways. Indeed, they do. So I can't really tell them to hold, I don't think. Could be doing it wrong, though. Oh, these guys are taking way more damage. They must have upgraded their armor or something. My melee attack is not one-hitting them anymore. So it's a good thing I got a few more units. Oh, yeah, we are still slaughtering them. I think investing into currency early was a very smart idea because now I'm just going to kind of steamroll the opposition as long as I continuously earn more money. Actually, this is awkward. I can't really upgrade much of anything, so I might have went too heavy into currency because I can't really do anything right now besides upgrade this tower. For whatever reason, I can upgrade that one. Oh, I've already upgraded the other ones. That's why. So do I spend the money on my homes? I mean, I guess so. There's nothing else I could really buy right now. So maybe I should have went into the other perk. R regardless, we upgraded the majority of our homes uh, with that perk. Is there maybe some more things to get over here? I highly doubt it, but just... Figured I'd check. Oh, this is literally the, f the final night, by the way. So, uh, yeah, it's not like we can upgrade more anyways, because this is going to be our final night here. So I guess I pretty much maxed out the place and have more than enough currency for the rest of this. So I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, let them come in and see if they get anywhere near me. Ooh, the okay. Uh, that's a lot more damage. What is that armor? It's like a giant tin can. All right, come in for the swipe. It's only four of them. I don't know if there's going to be more spawning or what. I'm just going to keep this guy busy. Ow, never mind. That guy took out half my freaking health, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, help me. All right, I just need to keep swiping. Keep swiping. The uh, My units do re respawn, as you can see. The wall is broken, but we got rid of all of them. And there we go. Knight has survived. 37 in the bank and leveled up. I now have arcane tower. So there is a level system in this game as well. And these towers have much greater range. So tempting to do that. Uh, I'm getting all these levels, actually. Holy crap. I think I did pretty good for my first kingdom. And I guess we can move on to the next kingdom. All right. So you actually choose your weapons, your perks, and your mutators at the start of every level. Being that we already used the bow, let's try the light spear now, which actually has an active heal. 
So I think I only have one attack, but I can heal myself. Obviously, we got to get down and dirty, though, and melee them. Uh, so it might be a little more dangerous. Now, we may as well get the arcane towers because we just unlocked those. Uh, that gives me a greater range. This is kind of tempting. My castle produces more gold, and I did like gold in my last run, but uh, yeah, let's not do that because I feel like the arcane towers will be really nice. Now, we can also have mutators. This will make it harder, but will obviously give me benefits. For example, with this turtle god, we get 20% more points in XP if I win. So yes, each one of these is you get 20% more points in XP, uh, but each one is a specific debuff. So you get less gold, uh, enemies deal more damage, or enemies have a lot more health. Screw it, I'll try it. Let's do this one with enemies with a lot more health. All right, here we are, world two. This one is a lot bigger. I'm just gonna explore, see if there's any random things we can grab. Um, no, invisible walls. This is a lot more open, too. Oh, there's not many choke points. They literally just come in here. There's just this as a choke point, and then they're into my kingdom. Hopefully, I can build a giant wall or something like that. Let's find out here. We're going to build that first. I have five left. All right, so tower randomly there. Another mill, so I can get two mills. So, yeah, I think we should probably go heavy into currency once again. Do I want to do a mill right now? Yeah, I'm going to do one mill and one home, I think. Actually, maybe... I don't think a mill without any fields earns anything, so I'm just going to do the field instead for right now, and tomorrow we'll go heavy into homes. All right, but there's all my money. Night is upon us. Let's see if I can figure this thing out. And, yeah, I just got to get close and stabby stab. And three gold from the farm, so I did get one gold for just having the mill out as well. Good to know. And what do we actually have coming in today? Is it the same amount? Oh, wait, I can go further? Oh, they come in randomly at different spots. That's cool. So we have eight coming in this way. So I'm just going to go deeper into investing into currency right now. I think I should be fine with eight. All right, so there we go. Four new homes. Hopefully I don't regret this. Tomorrow we'll probably invest into some defenses because, uh, yeah, that's two days of currency and currency only. Probably a little risky. <laughs> I love that super fast attack. I don't know really how to heal. Hopefully, I don't need to figure that out. Oh, God. I might actually lose a home here. And goodbye. There we go. I'm back to full health. This is a lot more challenging, but there's a reward if you're good with it. All right. So, we got two coming in that way, eight coming in this way. So, we want to defend both sides. Fortunately, all I have is, like, farms. I have this defense tower. I think we'll definitely buy that one. So, let's do that. Um, should I even upgrade that, maybe? Oh, I can't. Crap. Uh, I guess, actually, it would be smart probably to upgrade my actual tower so we get our upgrade. And this time, I'm going to do the other one because I'm going to need to do some serious damage. And we can upgrade this this time. We can also do the wall that I wanted. Okay. So we'll be building a legit kingdom this time. This is really cool. Uh, I guess for the final one, I'll just put a house way back here just to get rid of all my gold. So we have... What the hell are those? Bees? Is that macemen? I'm not sure what that emblem is. It looks like those are going to be the hard units, though. So I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe try and kill these guys quickly or just slow them down a bit and then go over and kill the other guys. Check out my damage buff. I killed one guy really quickly here. I'm going to try and lure these guys this way. What the frig is that? Okay, so I'm assuming this might explode. I seriously didn't expect it to be a creature. That's actually kind of cool. No, 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 no. Oh, not my field. Oh, they broke my field so quickly. Okay, my tower's going down. That's fine. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, guys. You have to stop. You have... This is not funny anymore. Oh, God. Just don't... Just don't die. Just... Okay. Does that thing heal? Oh, thank God it does. Oh, and that even resets? So, my field is fine. Oh, this one's broken, it says. There's a big X. So, I guess I'm not earning money on that one. Oh, I really want to save for this, but I'd probably be a goner if I did that. So, we're going to get the barracks. And let's do knights, being that we have eight... Or, sorry, three teams of eight rangers coming in. So, I think the knight would be smart. And you know what? I'm actually going to build this twice. So, we actually have a decent team to defend. I am not worried about tonight. Ah, oh, I just need 20 gold to upgrade my, my HQ, though. Um, I'm just going to keep them there. Being that we're being attacked from all sides, I probably should have started by one of these. So, I could have took them down a little quicker, but that's okay. Okay. How much did we get that day? Uh... All right, so we're getting 16 a day. I think now we can invest heavily into currency because if I can get 20 in one day, then I can upgrade my, my HQ. I don't really want to upgrade anything else right now. Actually, the one thing I maybe should do is this tower just to make it slightly better. And then aside from that, 
Archery range. Okay, we can we can get archers as well. Let's wait for the wall for that. We're just gonna upgrade some of these buildings here. Oh, you know what? There's an extra tower here. Let's get two towers up. Uh, four gold left, so we're gonna upgrade some of these tier one homes to tier two. And I think that was a good mix. We have a little bit of defense and a little bit of currency earning. And we're only getting guys from over here. So you know what? Let's bring all my friends. Come on. All right. And I'm not really sure how these guys work. Do they explode or is it just... I thought they exploded, but no, I, th I, th I think they don't. Oh, God. They're just ignoring my knights, though. I didn't realize they would do that. I don't like these. I don't like this at all. I should have got archers, man. Should have got archers. Knights, hurry up. Oh, frig. Oh, God. Oh, God, knights. Knights. I'm actually going to die, I think. Damn it. Wait. Okay, so if I lose my HQ, it's okay? Never mind. It's not okay. It is not okay at all. Damn it. <laughs> all right. A new run, and it's going a little bit better, focusing more on offense than anything else. Uh, but I do have a lot of currency buffs as well. So I'm back at the um, currency perks. So yeah, I have um, the houses being upgraded every day, and I'm also the ranger. So it's actually way easier. I do like the ranger over the spearman. So yeah, we'll see how we can do now. I've been doing very much way better. I'm going to keep these guys here and keep them busy. If they die, they will respawn by the time everybody gets to the kingdom. So we want them dying as quickly as possible. And yeah, look at I'm holding out just fine right here even without even using my crossbow men. This is such an addictive game, man. This is a really cool premise. All right, we're doing good now. There's just archers left, and we're going to make quick work of those with my crossbow men, which are really strong against archers. So, yeah, I have close range range units that are really good for the archers that do come. Uh, is it? Okay, it's, n it's not the final day yet. Where the hell are these things coming from? Was it? Oh, can they go across the water? I don't like that. I don't even know where they come from. I'm going to put a tower over here, just a basic one, just to defend my my flourishing farm that has no fields. And we'll put a tower over here. And I guess for the final two gold, we'll upgrade one of the tier ones because I don't think there's really anything else I can afford. Uh, so yeah, let's go upgrade this home. And actually, maybe... We, oh yeah, we still have three homes over here that can be upgraded every day. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen here, so I'm just going to... Oh, I can put a freaking tower there. Oh, I wish I knew that. I would have put that one there instead of the one over at the uh, far right. Anyways, let's start the day. and Or night, rather. I don't know. Okay, so they can. They are flying. Oh, this isn't even the same unit. This is a flying base unit. What do I do about that? My, my spearman ain't, ain't going to do crap. That's okay. They don't have very low HP, and we have archers everywhere. So I think we'll be okay. Oh, yeah. This is great. Good thing I invested into archers. Don't hit my windmill, man. That's rude. All right. How much is that per day? Yes, 20. Perfect. Okay, just what I wanted. Now I can upgrade this bad boy and get the other upgrade. So, oh, these are totally different. Interesting. Okay, so we can either upgrade and be a commander and essentially buff my troops, or we've already seen this one where we get 70% HP and attack damage for myself. Um, hmm. Let's try this one. This one sounds more exciting. I actually think the other one might be slightly better, but I, I, I like the idea of having everybody kind of around me. All right, so yeah, I got four guys over there, two spearmen, two uh, crossbowmen, and I got seven with me. I think this should be my best plan of action, and let's try and kill these guys quickly, guys. Come on. Get them down. Get them down. I am holding the lines just fine, even without me here, and I don't have much troops left, but we did it. And with that, that's 25 gold now, so I have decisions to make. Do I upgrade my tower? Do I upgrade... Wow, I can really upgrade these towers if I want to. I think we should focus on the troops. So I did see we have a troop thing here. Let's do that. We have crossbowmen, so let's get some longbow archers. I really like the crossbowmen, though, so we're going to invest eight gold into that and get some more of those guys. All right, so let's do the wall, being that this is going to cost 12. This is pretty much all my money, and that will be a nice last line of defense. Okay, well, one gold left. You know what? We can actually spend one gold. Let's throw it in the field, baby. We'll get here with some spearmen, and the archers should be able to defend the rest of the city. Oh, it's these guys. Okay. All right, we're being attacked from everywhere. This is so cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I think we're doing okay. My archers are killing the flyers just fine all around me, and these guys are slowly going down. All right, that was really easy. That was a good spread to defend the kingdom. Uh, is this the last day? I have a feeling that the last day is coming soon. I have to figure out what the rest of these things are. So, yeah, we have more farms if we want to. There is a tower here. You know what? That one actually be great, being that we're being attacked from over here. I think up investing into that is the smartest idea. And we have 14 left. 
Courses cost 15 to upgrade once more, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, I think we should maybe invest into just homes, I guess? Yeah, because this field should be safe over here. So I'm just going to invest into a little more currency. And I think we'll call it a day after that. How much does it cost to upgrade this again? Six. So we'll put down two more fields. And then have a beautiful farm over here. There we go. That should give us a bunch more money per day. Um, I think I'm actually happy with this layout right now. I want to hopefully defend mostly at the wall. So I'm just going to keep my guys there. And let's let the fight commence. There we go. Look at the slaughter. Man, these 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 longbowmen do so much damage. I think they'll be totally fine over there. So I'm going to try and help these guys over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are destroying these guys. All right. So, yeah, we did lose a little bit that run, but we survived it. And, yeah, everything does get reset. There's X's on the windmills, though. 82% protected. That's not that great, is it? Wow, I actually got 41 gold that run. Holy crap. All right. Uh, let's do some big investments then. I don't know if I want to go into towers or units. We have 50 archers coming in. So I think maybe I should... What is this? Oh, this is another... Okay, you know what? We're going to do that for sure. Um, And being that it's going to be mostly archers, we'll get some knights out. We'll upgrade this again to get some more knights. Do I want to upgrade it again? Sure, why not? Let's have a massive team of knights out here. Oh, it's only an extra four. That was not a good investment, considering I still have a bunch of these as low tiers. And I could invest into them and earn more units. All right, the wheelie boys are going in, avoiding everything. Look at this. This is actually like a legit war right now. This is really, really cool, seeing how big these fights can indeed get. I don't know if we're doing good or bad. We have so many archers over here I need to destroy, but I don't want to go into there because as you can see, once they all target me, I could die in like one second. So I'm just going to kind of let my team do every now and then. I'll go in and swipe and then head back out. And yeah, we are dwindling their numbers quite rapidly. Well, it pays to get troops, I guess. That went really, really well. Let's grab that gold and 47 now. Do I want to invest into this random wall? <laughs> I think before the wall, let's get some good towers on my walls. Oh, wow. I can upgrade the towers. Interesting. So I can either get an iron fortress or a ballista. Uh, shoots a very powerful shot at low rate of fire. Focuses on siege engines and other large enemies. I think we should do one of each. That would be smart. And I should have more than enough money for that. I guess I'll invest into currency so we earn more currency this round. Because I think there's going to be a huge round next run. Only because why would this be such a basic wave? All right. There we go. All the rest is in the currency. And, well, I'm not too worried about this wave. Unless there's, like, enemies hiding somewhere. What is this? I'm nervous about tomorrow. That's for sure. They also gave me a crap load of gold, so thank you. And there we go. Knights survived. Shocker on that one. Give me all my gold. All right. 51 gold. And, yes, as I assumed, this is where we die. Oh, my God. Okay. I have 51 gold. I got to be really strategic with this gold because that is... We got freaking catapults coming in we haven't seen those yet and so many infantry there's so many different upgrades here this is so cool uh we'll get another we'll just do a bunch of basic towers why not right and being that this is pretty much my last line of defense i think upgrading this tower is smart to the ballista that should have a really long range as well so i have five gold left what do i want to do with my final five i need six for that upgraded wall i was hoping to actually upgrade those walls that's too bad no sense really going into currency. I don't know if there's really anything else I can do, though. I guess, yeah, I can upgrade. Perfect. I can upgrade one of these basic towers once. So we'll do this one because this one's going to have more action. And there we go. All my money perfectly spent on offenses. Now, I have no idea. Should I just keep my guys where they are? I think that's probably the smartest idea. Here we go. Are we going to win or lose? I have no idea. I'm going to go down here and try and get a head start. Never mind. They're not spawning in yet. So that was a waste. Damn it. Oh, God. We got big guys coming in like crazy. Freaking catapults. <laughs> All right, I'm not worried about the flyers. I'm seeing a catapult coming in. Let's go get those guys. Wow, the ballistas are just so worth it. Catapults stand no freaking chance. All right, I don't know why I was worried, man. We are doing okay right now. I shouldn't jinx myself, though. So, yeah, I've lost a wall. What else did I lose? My bar my barracks over here, my big tower. I have taken a lot of damage. But the main wall has not fallen, so I think we're going to be okay. Hopefully. And being that there was uh, some time before this wave came in, my troops have respawned. And yeah, we're just holding them at this choke point. Perfect. Good job, boys. We did it. Is that it? Or are we still very much going about this? Okay, that is it. There we go. Upgraded to level 5. We got heavy armor, a large amount of health, but my horse is slightly slower at night. 
We also got level six. I love how I'm getting multiple levels every run. So a new upgrade path for melee units. Uh, units with flails can attack enemies close to them in a single powerful blow. And that would be exciting to try. Wow, we got three levels. Castle Center has a lot more health points. Fires arrows uh, much faster. And that is it. All right, guys, and that's a quick look into the demo for Thronefall. Super excited for this game to come out. Uh, a fun little indie game, definitely very strategic. And uh, yeah, the, the battles are just so exciting on this one. I think this one will be a really popular one when it does come out. It's very addictive. And yes, yeah, simple to learn, but hard to master like any decent game. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.